sorry about that folks I guess I gotta do a part two because it just mm -hmm. alright as I was starting with the other one the, at the end of the last video we got people that are making slips like this this is a cheapie from Amazon real thin you know but it works you know it does what it needs to do but you got people that are making these leather slips on Am. they sell them on Amazon uh, Facebook uh, I know a guy I, if I remember right he was down around South Carolina that he made me a couple he's made oh two three I think four of them he's made for me uh, real heavy leather though real thick they really they don't have any give to them but they're they work they're decent you know well then you got these thin ones you got all sorts of them everywhere you know and what do you do when you don't have any money you don't have 10 bucks or whatever to spend on one of these cheapy fuckers even hmm? well you do what i did you make your own Now this used to was <laughs> it was a uh, one of them ankle support things where you you put it on your foot and your ankle and you velcro around it it wraps up around it that's what this was there's another one piece over here but you make them you just get out of make your own shit you gotta get out a needle on the thread you stick shit where you want it and then you start sewing until you get like me where you can't even see the goddamn neat the head of the needle where you got to put the thread in it i hate it when that my eyes are just getting shitty but i still made my own because i i don't want to go spending money on something like that when i can just make it and it does just as good as the ones that you buy. Actually, even better. There's that one. And then I got this one that I put together. This was actually on something else. It was... I had an extra side on it. But I cut it off because it just... It looked stupid. But I got... Plus, with, the, the, with these, you can kind of squeeze at the bottom. And you can push your stuff out. See, there's my, you know, Fisher Space Pen. It's an older one. I've had it three or four years. I've had that one. Still works. I haven't changed the insert, the uh, in the guts out yet. I haven't had to change it. You know, leather. Most of your leather slips and stuff that people make. Uh, are a lot heavier than this okay and you get light ones thin ones like this and then you make stuff like this it's usually easier to get your stuff out of them because you can kind of squeeze at the base of it and kind of push them out for example like this Victorinox camper I put uh, plus scales on it I figure when I get the extra money I'm going to get some more of them uh Oh, what do they call it? Firefly or something? The uh, little ferro rod that go it replaces your toothpick. Um, I have fucker. I already have a few. Um, I want to get more of them though. All right, let me slide that back in. Just goes right in. For right now, I got one of those little ferro rods. On that one. See this one, this hiker still has a uh, toothpick. This one does not have uh, plus scales either. It's just a just a basic hiker. Needs a good washing, but it's still. Still in real good condition. 
but let me show you. Here's my champion that I'm carrying right now. Does have plus scales. That's the uh, little firefly. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. It's firefly barrel rod. Replaces your toothpick. I still got the pen. I still got the tweezers. Don't really, really don't have much need for a toothpick. I don't have very many teeth. <laughs> medical issues. I've lost a lot of my teeth because of medical. I don't do drugs. I'd rather buy meat and I'd rather buy food than meth or anything because I'm a fat guy and I, I like food. Uh, but yeah. Uh, my uh, battery pack for my other phone. I've got a few of them. Uh, I've got three of them, I think, this, that are about this size all together. Uh, I've got a couple big ones, you know, bigger ones. It's a good idea. To, it's a good thing to have is some extras, you know. It's, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, then I got... This was like 40 bucks on Amazon. I uh, robbed the pocket clip off from it for something else. It's all white peanut kitty. And cat's nuts. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you can always reuse a lot, of, a lot of stuff that you end up with. You can always reuse, like this little orange bag. It had a uh, one of the emergency sleeping bags, an emergency bivy in it. Well, right now it's got a rain poncho, emergency blanket, a uh, bigger Ziploc bag for water storage, and a uh, Altoid survival tent. One of the next videos I do, I think I'll do a uh, Altoids tin video. I don't know. I kind of. I hope I get a few more viewers, you know. And you know, I'm just starting out with this stuff, so maybe we can pass the knowledge around to everybody else. Yeah, I know. Uh, they uh, frown on someone uh, smoking or drinking on it during the videos. Jeez, I don't give a shit. It's life. But uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. I mean, just think about it. You can reuse stuff that you're not using anymore. You know, like make little pocket slips for some of your EDC, you know. Uh, you can buy these cheaper ones, or you can get the real thick ones that are real heavy and they're they're bulky. I don't, I really don't have any real big ones slips anymore. I had one and it come up missing. I former roommate used to steal a lot of my shit and sell it. And apparently, he was stealing it, selling it, and trading it for drugs. That's why he's no longer here. So. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Or night, whenever you're watching it. If you watch it. Uh, I hope uh, somebody comments on my videos. You know, hey. Comments, questions. You know. I don't care what you say, just, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. So, anyway, that'll be it for right now. Um, my 
keep watch for my next video i think i'm going to go a little more in depth into uh alto the altoid survival tins that i have that i've made um so yeah i think that'll be one of the next videos but have a wonderful day everybody